Cancel culture. One cannot consider the practice of one musician in the field without an acknowledgement of the set of influences that surround them. One. One cannot consider the practice of one musician in the field without an acknowledgement of the set of influences that surround them. Programmed music, like the way the internet cannot recreate the sensory nature of real-world interactions, still cannot recreate the theatrical performance context of a group of musicians interacting and communicating on stage, too. Change in relationship to the creative practice of a particular musical community can be categorized into two broad groupings. The first represent changes to the way that audiences listen to and consume musical product. The second represent the many changes and innovations that have altered the way that musicians create and compose music. Together, a summation of these forces help drive the emergence of new musical paradigms and new representations of musical culture. Welcome to Human Machine Music. Welcome to Human Machine Music. Welcome to Human Machine Music.
Hi, my name is Bobby Singh. I'm sitting in Hobart, the first time I've ever been here. I play tabla. I'm an Indian classical musician. Uh, my name is Dion, and I work at the zoo as a sound guy, in house sound guy. Okay, what's your name? Hi, my name's Dion Howard, I'm from London. Yeah, but I'm here to play music. Yeah. We are at Exodus Festival. Running around, setting up bands, setting up microphones. Doing monitors really. Please say your name. And Evelyn. And my brother rang me up, asked me to do the merchandise stand. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, okay, for sure. I play a lot of fusion stuff in this country, playing with the bird and playing with Barry Hill, Ben Walt. And you're part of DKO? Uh, no, my brother is the drummer of DKO. Oh, right. Right. Hi, I'm Chris, I'm the drummer in DKO uh, Live. And did you, like, did you play tonight? Yes, I did. I I'm Ben, I play bass for a band called DKO. And we uh, play live electronica. And plus, I haven't seen the bird in a couple of years, so I thought it would probably be a really good idea to come check you guys out. Dubby, breaky, drum and bassy band from Brisbane. And um, I'm here because we've just finished a gig with the bird and had a. Yeah, and it's pretty much all improvised, and it's like organic dance yes. trance music. Yeah. And it's pretty much all improvised, and it's like organic dance. Yes. Yeah. And it's pretty much all improvised and it's like organic dance yeah. trance. People were suddenly letting the music in there.
tools to to do so and they couldn't have the patience or the skills to drum or play guitar or write scores for orchestras but suddenly they could get on their little fucking computers and write music heavily influenced by electronic music and humans started to get ideas off computerized stuff like i describe your music as somewhat influenced by electronic music would you agree yeah i guess more than influence more than influence it at first i was afraid of it then i turned on to the fact that i wanted to do it as a live musician and started the bird heavy influence from from electronic stuff coming back to the people yeah. and in our case bringing it out without the electronics as people. Yeah, these DJs have no fucking idea about rhythm. Yeah, we're, we're actually yeah. actually playing music. Playing music. Yeah. A lot of what yeah. yeah. you listen to on the radio, radio, radio. The machines are playing music. Yeah. Basically taking or playing music that's influenced by machines, but you're playing on completely acoustic instruments. Even then, there's still not the action yeah. and reaction. Yeah. 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 It's still what's yeah. going There's still not the action yeah. and reaction going on. There's still one to one to us. We have to know these days. We have these machines. Are, are, yes, yes. Yes. Musically, you're quite a unique act. Drum machines like a fucking drum machine. Go harder and faster and make infinitely more interesting grooves. Yeah, I just want to get sweeter and sweeter. I plan, I plan to try and push boundaries. New styles, new sounds, new sounds, new styles, new sounds. Oh, <laughs> oh, 
change what we can do as musicians. The question is asked, it's like, yeah, you can do it this way, but I do it this way, but you can try this one, and you go, like, oh, okay, we do it, and straight away, no matter if they're masters, no matter if they're students, there's just nothing, there is no such thing. With jazz, or Afro-Cuban music, or Jacko Pastorius, or whatever we used to listen to, normal people, people might, might, who aren't musicians, might just go, weird, that's really weird, doesn't relate to me. Definitely, it's like the music of the times, you know, I mean, 60s and 70s, Woodstock, that was the way it was, and now this is the way it is, and it's a heavy influence from, from electronic stuff, coming back, and back, and back, and back, and in our case, case bringing it out, bringing it out without, the, without the access. More that I wanted to turn musicians of my culture onto the fact that this music could be an absolutely free source of music which would give rise to all sorts of composers that could have played instruments. And every artist, artist in this country is forging, forging, forging a new breed of, of non-instrumentalist musical genius, genius. But I also thought that it... Jazz. And I still love all that stuff. I've really grown to appreciate yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> just how dance music, yeah. four four dance music, yeah. can really be so so conducive to a whole bunch of people dancing. So you sort of see music as like a creative release. Oh yeah, it's it's what I do to relax. It's what yeah. I say. Yeah. 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 Definitely, it's like the music of the times. And for me in the band, it's it's such an easy. It's such a natural way yeah, to play music. Yeah, yeah. And you do, you do, you do have play, you do have something going on that it's, uh, most bands would be completely unattainable. All right, so this shit can be played by people. All right, so this shit can be played by people. All right, so this shit can be played by people. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes I can't even program. Let's go see drums. <laughs> program. Let's go see drums. <laughs> program. Let's go see drums. <laughs> Thank you. 
uh, anyone in a live band would probably have to spend a lot of time of their life learning how to read, write, play music, how to tune an instrument, how to play rhythm, whereas a DJ, you know, anyone can just pick up a disc and stick it in a CD player. Being a good DJ is like the same as being able to get good wine. Except for the spare out with ones, I definitely give it up to the good ones. There are people who do amazing things, but you said all the other guys should do it. Not my favorite things, but I'm sure it's good. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
The general, the general um, acceptance for someone that does something culturally, they go, yeah, well, you know, I can understand you're going to make a sandwich for me, but what are you going to do if you're a dancer? Australia is too small to really survive as a musician. Yeah, sorry, man, I love Australia. I love all the people. I love, you know, but you've got to understand, Australia is culturally a bit retarded. No, that's, that's the beauty of being a musician in Australia. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, well, we have a beautiful country, but we have this really strange, non-artistic sort of culture, you know, driven by sport and cricket. People will not understand that, yeah? If you went to London, you would take it all, mate. I'm telling you, you beat Be Live. Be Live, you give a run for the money as a top DJ in London. You be in Equinox, you be in Sound, and you be in the Ministry of Sound, mate. They would enjoy you. The people here, here, can be fucking brilliant, but they can be as poor as the guy next to them who... It's not willing to support anything different that's got already seen to be popular by somewhere else in the world. Industry? That, it's not that great. That would be <laughs> And I, I do it because I enjoy it. Oh yeah. I there is. It's, it's, a, it's a good, you know, good option. Hey, I'm a drummer. I'm a drummer. I want to hit on, want to hit on weird junky drums. drums. I'm in a country, not much cash for the arts. How do I, how do I pay my rent? Can you afford it? How can you live in the music industry? Uh, the, the, you know, you, you gotta be keen. You gotta be keen. Um, you can't. And pretty much, you just have to know someone that knows someone that will put on a gig for you or with you. And that's that's how I found it. Ecologist. And uh, but my area of specialty is natural resources. Like, I've worked, worked hard in jobs to be able to raise the capital to do what I want as a musician. There is no money. It doesn't mean that I'm 
me that you're not a good musician because you don't make lots of money. Yeah. Oh, crap. Well, here's what they're not going to tell you. Buy a phone. It's hard when you're an artist because you really believe in what you're doing and you, you want to make something that's just amazing. How I survive and how I know all my peers survive is actually by doing stuff that we don't really want to do. So you've got a day job? Yes. I'm actually an unemployed scientist, so what's your field? Ah, uh, environmental science. And so you can see yourself maybe surviving off another, off another way? Yeah, I just think yeah. you, you survive, that's part of being human, you know, you find ways to survive, but you know, you do what, what you love as well, so if those two things could connect, that'd be great. Those are the times often when I've thought, um, I don't know whether I want to be a musician anymore. So, you know, when you go to your bank account every fucking week, you think, God, do I want to be a musician anymore? Jesus Christ. So, I'm actually an unemployed scientist, so... Yeah, right. just, you know, I, I don't ever want to feel like I have to earn money from making music. You have to earn money, earn money, earn money, earn money. Society, if you're an accountant, if you're a pharmacist, you've got a career path. You know what you're doing in five years' time. You know how much super you're going to make. You know what house you can afford. Us as musicians, we don't have any of that. Like, does that worry you? I mean, yeah, it means... I do have those moments, actually. From time to time, the phone is going, oh, God, I'm going to get old. I've got pretty much no superannuation. Something could happen to my health, and you know. But I think that's just connected to fear, and fear is irrational. And sometimes you've got to let go of it. Well, that's actually just something in my head talking. It's not really my heart. Where do you reckon you'll be in five years? In the Bahamas. A part of me doesn't worry about it, but I think being a musician gives you the freedom to stand back and have a really good look at what's going on and you should be able to find your own niche at some point to feel like I'm going to be okay, going to be okay, survive, survive. It's, 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 worth, it's, 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 worth, it's worth, worth being a full Apollo fuck to actually get up there and do what you want to do for a living and be poor and be miserable but be happy at the same time. So. I put a lot of emphasis on money in this life, unfortunately. And when you put emphasis on spiritual things, on artistic things, on on the wealth of giving to other people through music, man, I feel I feel rich. I feel like I've been able to share with what I love with heaps of people. And, um, ultimately, you know, it's your life. You get one crack, so you might as well go in there, suffer, struggle, like live on fuck all money, but actually be happy. Make, make, make money, 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 make money
myself in five years. I just enjoy being able to do what I do without yeah. having to sort of conform to yeah. any sort of expectations yeah. of what that genre of music applies to. Or, yeah. Something that I absolutely love and I will always do it and um, I'm happy to sort of earn money in other ways. Learn how to negotiate, learn how to do a little bit of graphic design, design. To do it that much. Passion, passion. Just being a part of the big rock and roll show. And um, ultimately, you know, it's your life, you get one crack. So you might as well go in there, suffer, struggle, like live on fuck all money. Actually, be happy, be happy. Be happy, 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 be happy.